In this video of Part Workbench, we are going to see how we will create lofts and sweeps. So let's create a new document. Now to create a loft, loft can be created between two uh, faces. So for this one, how about we create a cube and a cylinder and next we will move this cylinder 5 millimeters in X, 5 millimeters in Y and 15 millimeters in Z direction. Now the distance or the gap between the cylinder and the cube is 5 millimeters. What I would like to do is to create a profile between this face here of the cube and this face of the cylinder. And I would like to create 3D solid profile between these two. For that, we'll need to create the uh, faces. So, as we saw in the previous video, we will create face from vertices. I'll select oh, face from edges, not vertices. I'll select the four edges from which we need to create the face. I'll click on create. Next, I'll select the only edge on the cylinder for of which we need the face i'll click on create and then i'll close and come out so if i hide the cube and cylinder you can see that i have a square plane and a circular plane i would like to create a 3d solid between these two for that i click on utility to loft and then I add both the faces that we created previously. I would like to create a solid and I'll tick on ruled surface and I want it to be a closed solid. When I click on OK, you can see that the loft has been created. Now to put it in perspective, this is how it will look like. So this is the shape between the uh, cube and a cylinder. Now where would this be useful? This would be useful when you are creating ducting for air conditioning. That's where this feature of lofting would be very helpful. Next, we are going to select or we are going to see how to create. We'll hide the, both of those faces as well. Next, we are going to select, see how we can sweep the utility. Now to sweep this utility, first we will need some faces and then we will need a path for sweeping. So how about, let's say I would like to sweep this circular shape. How about we just create a new circular shape altogether. We will go in creation of parametric geometries. We will select circle. And the radius of this circle, I'll say uh, 250, uh, 150 millimeter radius. I'll click on create. And next, I will say I'll need to create another circle with radius 140 millimeters. And then I'll click on create. Next. What I'll do is, I would need to create another circle with a radius of 225 millimeters. But the angle this time, I want just 90 degrees. And the direction of this would be in X direction. So when I click on create, you can see that a half circle or a quarter circle has been created. I'll click on close. Now this circle, I need to move it in so that it is at the center of these two circles that we previously created. Now I know that this distance is 225. So I'll, if I say minus 225, these 
quarter circle will come at the center of these two other circles. Next, we need to go in and create face from edge. We'll select this one and I'll click on create. Next, we need to select this edge and click on create. I'll close it and I'll hide these two circles. I'll keep this third circle unhidden so or visible and then let's see this is the face 002 is the bigger disc or bigger face circular face and face 003 is the smaller face circular face so I would like to extrude or sweep this face with this circle as the path to do that I need to click on utility to sweep now face 002 is the profile for the sweep path I'll select this quarter circle and click on done and then when I click on create a solid and click on ok I'll see I can see that a solid has been created now let's hide this solid for the time being and let's first hide the face of that as well now there is another face 003 that we need to sweep so let's click on sweep face 003 sweeping path is this one here and I'll click on ok so now you can see that two different sweeps have been created the only difference is that this one for this one it is just the face 003 so if I open sweep 1 and sweep 2 so that is your sweep of the face 002 and that is sweep for face 003 but as you can see this sweep 001 is not a solid and why did that happen the only reason that happened is we didn't click on solid so as you can see in the property section if I click on solid to be true and then if I recompute I'll get a sweep which is a solid instead of just the shell so there are two sweeps now what I can do is I'll select sweep one uh, sweep and then sweep 001 and then when I click on cut you can see that I get a solid bend created out of these two sweeps so that's how you do lofting and you do sweeping in free care part workbench.